Welcome back to Let's Play The Legends of the Wind Waker. Now let's go ahead and ride this flower like taking the boat ride in Mario Sunshine. Oh, that one was far more annoying. Because you're surrounded by lava, you're somehow on a wooden boat going across it, and it's just a real pain in the butt. Now for these guys, we just killed the old-fashioned animal. Heh, <laughs> too bad we couldn't kill them that way in Zelda 1. Oh, Zelda 1, I love you. How come this isn't working? Do I need a... Okay, there we go. I just couldn't get the air going through for some reason. And, yeah, you don't get that ruby. Don't worry about it. Come on, Link. There you go. Ooh, almost fell to my death there. Nah, I'm kidding. That... That wouldn't have killed me, but not something I should worry about. Oh. There's something in this room. Something cool, I hope. And we want to switch to... Actually, no, yeah, we want to keep our boomerang for now. We want to switch to our grappling hook shortly, though. Uh, notice how there's a bunch of crystals here? One, two, okay. Three, four, and five, man. Let it go. No, I'm not going to do a lot of rep commercial like, I mean, reference. I particularly don't care for Beyblade. I mean, yeah, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! and I like Pokemon, but I didn't care for Beyblade or Bakugan, which I hear is a ripoff of Beyblade. But oh man, I got a couple cousins that love Bakugan. At least they did two years ago. I haven't seen them recently. But they did love Bakugan. And we get a big key, because it's not a boss key. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that. Oh, we have a fight? Uh, a couple moblins. That's one more than the last dungeon! Hey, yeah, hurt yourselves, please. I'm totally okay with that. No, get out of there. Ow. Hey, you guys are mean. But we can use our Burbrang to stun these guys. So see how I stun them? Now I can try them up to pieces. Oh, his defense is too high. Just stun them with the Burbrang and they're pretty much yours. Oh, yeah, they are easy. Ow. Did that guy from behind get me? No. No hitting me. I say it's done. Oh, no. Come here, Moblin. I'll cut you up Moblin style. Hiya! Did I, did I get him? No, not yet. Hey, your guard's down. And I pretty much chopped to pieces. You could use your parry attack, I mean your parry counter, to get away from attack and get them pretty much the same way. Ooh, 10 rupees and a heart. Oh, loves me so much. You know, I can only hold 200 rupees for a while, but I can use all the money we can get. Am I missing something? Because that door is still locked. I must be missing something. I know there's a way out of this room. There, there always is. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, here we go. Just take this grappling hook up, and that'll lead us all right on that again. Sort of feels like we're trapped in this room, but no, not exactly. It just leads us back around. See, I told you it was a one-way trip, because now we're back here. Oh, no. There we go, and make a leap of faith. There we go. Hey, I did not give you permission to come on this platform with me. There we go. Okay, Link, you can stop looking at him now. I don't think they can attack you while they're in the poison water. I, I mean, they might, but I don't think they do. Okay, we want to blow that, and we can get our way back to the top. Alright, up and up, and away! Sort of. Yeah, it's on a timer, so you better go quick when you do that. Okay, now the next room we want to go to is this one, and if I don't find that warp jar I'm looking for, I'm going to have to backtrack all the way back. But there should be a warp jar that allows us to go back to the first room. Probably after this one. No. Yeah, I shouldn't know that was going to happen. Hey, look, we got two of our friends! Hey, how's it going? Oh, jeez, there's a lot of these guys. No, I should have countered. Alright, there we go. Oh, did I already kill the other one? Oh, well, that, that was pretty easy. And we can also get a treasure chest for our efforts. Is this, uh, another joy pendant? Now I can't remember this treasure chest. Okay, it is another joy pendant. Yeah, you can get a total of three of these in this dungeon. 
Maybe four, but I can only remember three at the moment, so uh, yeah, bear with me. Alright, and this, alright, there should be a warp jar in this room. Please? Game? Oh, there we go. This is the, uh, you got a bomb for me to crack that open too, or do I have to use a coconut? Will this even work? <laughs> no, of course not. But I could use a fairy, so. Come here, please. Yeah, in case you need a fairy, well, there you go. I kind of forgot about this little guy. I generally don't need him for the upcoming area, but. Oh, well, yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember now. We want to take a Deku stick and burn the top of the jar off. Yeah, break it with a coconut. What was I thinking? There's a, those things aren't even called coconuts. I don't know what those things are called. Oh, perfect jump, Link. So we want to go through the warp jar, which will lead us back to the first room. Yeah, the very first room we've been in. Trying to throw us in enemies already, isn't it? Well, the, the treasure chart that we actually want is in this room. And there's a good reason why we're going back for this one. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I do want to go that way, so let's go ahead and float over this. I don't know, what the heck do you want to call those things, viewers? I like to call them tentacles, because I have a really dirty mind, but I don't think they'd really be called tentacles, would they? Is there a part of a tree that moves like that in real life? Like, at all? I've never seen a tree that can move like that, so I just assume it's a fantasy. But, no, I, I could be dead wrong. Alright, that's the one I want to go to. Please make it. Oh, oh, barely. I barely made that one. Like, I might barely make this one. Oh my god! No, you could- No, 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 I don't want to use the- Don't use your fairy! Equip your berberang! <laughs> I just wasted my fairy. Oh. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Hey, okay. and look, you get another droid pendant. So yeah, see, I was wrong, there is four. I don't remember the ones in the- Yeah. I, I just don't remember those ones for some reason. I know I got so much of those I don't care for it, so. Yeah, we want to make our way all the way here. This was the treasure chest I was talking about earlier that we couldn't really uh, get because our bombs and we couldn't take a Deku stick up here on fire or anything like that, so. We need to wait until we get the broom ring. Just so we can get... I think this is called treasure chart number 15 in my notes, if I really remember correctly. Okay, yeah, treasure chart number 15. And now we want to make our way uh, back to the, the boss door. No, the big door with the block on it. <laughs> yeah, I think the coolest lock I've seen in Zelda game was... Okay, we want to just drop down. Except I don't want to go all the way down, so let's just tread cautiously. Uh, the, the biggest uh, key that I've seen, I mean, the, the coolest door I've seen in the Zelda game was the one right before you fight the the final enemy uh, in Twilight Princess, the final boss. Oh, yeah, that door was pretty awesome. Can I get another fairy, please? Oh, sweet! I will gladly take a fairy. No! Another fairy? Aw. Oh. I don't really need one, but okay, I guess that's the game's way of telling me. I Hey, Lennon, you don't need a fairy, so you know what? You don't get one. Hey, that, that eye looks pretty cool. It's sort of Reminds me of the Millennium Eye from Yu-Gi-Oh for some reason. Oh, what? The door's not gonna lock on me? Oh! Hey, that must be my car! Hey, buddy! Uh, cool, thought I found you! Uh, come, come right, uh... No, no, that's the evil Deku pilot. My car, come here! Hey, my car! How dare you! Speaking of that, I, that newest South Park episode was pretty cool, wasn't it? You know, with Carmen and all the overweight people and how they're really cruel about that, but it was still kind of funny. Oh. Well, it kind of reminds me of the boss in Java Java's Belly in Ocarina of Time. Just gotta hit up the boomerang and pretty much go across, target, and use the elbow to jump out of the way if you end up uh, getting in the line of fire from these things. Oh. Yeah, he can do that too, so usually I... Try to avoid that if you can. If not, don't worry about it. And if you take too long to get his tentacles, oh, whatever is supporting him up there anyways, to come on down. 
Yeah, uh, he will if Bruno's back. No! Ugh. I really suck at that. I was sort of hoping I could get out of that, but eh, that's okay. Okay, five more. Let's try to stay back here, because those aren't going to hurt. Quite a bit. There we go. Okay, he's trying to attack us. Whenever we see his arms go down below, that's when he wants to attack. So now let's go ahead and drop him down. Hey, buddy. Hey, Deku Baba. There we go. Wait, it only took two rounds? Oh, that took a lot of hits, too, so... Uh, yeah, well, there you go. That was an easy boss called something, because this game does not give me the names of my bosses. Kala Demos. Well, that's Kala Demos for ya. It's not a Twilight Diababa or anything, like Twilight Princess, but... Uh, he's a... Okay, yeah, he's, a, he's an okay boss. I, he's not one of my favorites, but he's cool. I sure am, but you may call me Link. Although, Swordsman does sound pretty damn cool if I say so myself. Oh, of course not! Your time on this earth is gonna last forever! Oh, I'm here to rescue you for a ceremony of some sort. Yeah, he sure did! Today is the day of the ceremony! Oh. Yeah, for some reason you guys have to do the ceremony. It's not optional or anything, but... For all our efforts for saving Makar from the Forbidden Forest, we get... Well, another Ark Container! Anyways, let's go ahead and go through the... Uh, the wind? The wrench circle teleporter thing with all the yeah, whatever you want to call that. Oh, all right. Well, I made that look uh, yeah, pretty much as hard as it usually is. I didn't make it look any easier, but well, well, that boss wasn't too bad. All right, great Deku tree. I have Makar. Yeah, he's returned safely. Not a scratch on him. Oh, it's uh. It's, uh yeah, you discipline him. <laughs> yeah, you're safe now, and that's all that matters. Oh, you're welcome, Great Deku Tree. Now, and he is going to give us probably what we think it's going to be. Another pearl! Uh, the green one is Furrow's Pearl, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. I've played this game plenty of times. Oh, I sure hope it leads me to a cult destiny with some delicious princess booty! Wait, we don't have a princess in this ocean, do we? Nah, drats. Oh well. Oh, Makar plays music? What kind of instrument do you play? Or do you sing? Oh, it's okay, Makar. It's not like it's your fault the wind blew in a bad direction or anything. Oh. Harder than you normally do, so you never play at your best? You should play at your best, Makar. Makar. Was that the guy's name in Yu-Gi-Oh? You know, one of the enemies? Oh, I like this song. Huh? Oh! It's all the kids! Sounds Irish. The song sounds Irish. Oh. Those are all seeds? So that's why the ceremony is important. They get <laughs> the look on Link's face. They get seeds in the Great Deku Tree, and I wonder what they're going to do with it. Take a guess, viewers. Of course, what do you do with the seed? But you plant it. Yeah, so they're gonna go plant seeds somewhere. Oh, across the Great Sea, apparently. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Kuroks. Yeah, that's what they're called. I call them kids because I can't remember the names for a second. Next year. Oh. Uh, farewell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll see you guys. I'll be wandering the Great Seas a lot. Because guess what we're doing the next episode, viewers? Starts with a Ness. You know, it ends with a Ness. Side quests! Oh, yeah, you probably not wanted to hear that word, but. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do tons of side quests. Oh, and I mean it when I say tons. Probably four or five episodes of. Side quests. We can get more part pieces, more treasure charts, and play some really damn annoying games. I mean, not, not this game's annoying, just some of the mini games to, uh. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, there is one mini game in particular that I am not looking forward to. 
Anyways, just go ahead and swim all the way back and just take the currents. All right, and then hopefully the post box will be Ugh, out of my way. Eh, yeah, you're not worth my time. Yeah, the post box is dancing. That means I have some mail. Hopefully it's the one I'm hoping it is. Oh, whoa, got saliva on me mailbox, but that's okay. Oh, is this my first one? I am dead to you. I'm very sorry to leave, leave without thanking you. Oh. But we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels, and they'll send it to us. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah, so if the, wiggle, the, if the post box is wiggling, you'll have mail. A love letter by any chance? Well, maybe we'll get one. Who knows? Small token. Oh, Kamali's father. And he gives us piece of heart number two. Oh, this would be three if you had enough money to get the one from the Battleship game on Windfall Island, but, well, as you know, I did not. Now I have plenty of money to play tons of games. But what side quest will I do first? Find out next time. Well, let's play. I don't need to do that. Legends of the Wind Waker. Have a good day.